Hello there. <laughs> um, um, what do I say? I don't know. I'm back again. <sighs> so I know I've been really sketchy with my filming and my uploading. I don't do it very much. The people who watch my videos, I know that you miss it. <laughs> and I know it's not very many, but I miss making them also. Here's me making one. A video um, it's not gonna be anything special um, I was it was kind of gonna be an update slash me talking for a little bit just about stuff um, yeah I figured that me making videos should be like my thing and if I chose to make one it should be when I feel like making one um, it's not that before I didn't feel like making them I felt like making them of course um, I think it was just like a schedule I didn't like having a schedule and I created that schedule for myself and it's not even like anyone cared anyways. So I figured that instead of having a day where I'm going to upload, um, I'm just kind of, kind of, whenever I feel um, inspired or the need to make a video or the want to make one, I'm going to make one. I know I don't upload very often and maybe it might be like that, but uh, also my brain has a lot of things going on in it and it's hard for me to put it all out there into the world and... Yeah, so this is me trying my best. I also got my septum pierced. I don't know that happened. If the introduction hasn't been long enough yet, this video is gonna be uh, me talking about um, music, actually. Kind of the past couple months, I've been getting more and more into music. Um, this past year, actually, I would say. I've loved music my whole life. Um, it's just a thing that's happened in my life. and. Uh, my parents have always listened to really cool artists who not very many people know about and it's just kind of been that way for a long time and um, I've always loved those people that we listen to just because my parents listened to them and it must have just been the way I was raised or whatnot. I think I've always had like a, a little bit of a different taste in music and had a little bit of a different eye for music and I like it when an artist or a singer has a lot of passion for their music. So that's kind of the basis of it. <laughs> I really hope this video isn't boring to you, but I, I want to talk about this because I don't talk about it to anyone else. <laughs> First thing I'd have to say is that I never really like made it a concept in my mind that if you hear a song that you like by a person that you like, that you can go find more of their music. And I don't know why, it was just never like, oh, oh yeah. There was never like a light bulb in my head that said that. So, flashback to summers not this last summer but the summer before I went to a church camp and there was someone there who's a rapper and his name's Andy Minio and he came and performed for us for the whole camp which like I forget how many people it is it's a whole bunch like thousands and I really liked his music there and it was just like Christian rap and I loved it I was like wow this guy's really awesome and and that's when I realized oh yeah you can like listen to music if you like that person, I don't know why. So, like, I found him on Spotify and YouTube and whatnot, and I was like, oh, I like Andy Minio. I'm actually wearing one of his hoodies right now. I'm ashamed. What's up? I don't know why I'm talking about this all. Also, the sun's going down, so hopefully the like lighting doesn't get horrible. Whatever. <laughs> so, from Andy Minio, Andy Minio. Um, then after I saw him in concert released an album called Uncomfortable. I really liked the song Rat Race, and particularly I really liked the person singing on it. So it wasn't Andy Mineo, it was actually um, someone named John Bellion. He was featured in the song just as kind of a singer in like the hooks or whatever you call it, I don't know, the chorus. So then I looked up John Bellion on YouTube and I found a song called Luxury by John Bellion and I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never heard any song like this. It had trumpets and like a nice bass and like he was just singing his heart out and I was like, oh my gosh, who is this man? And so I looked him up and I found his music and I found um, his previous albums, so like The Definition, and then I looked on SoundCloud and I found The Separation and Translation, Translations Through Speakers, and I listened to those and I was like, wow, I really, I really like this guy. He has, he's got a great voice and he, I can tell he puts a lot of thought into his music and he produces it and he's written songs for other people too that I didn't even know about and it's just like crazy. So that's John Bellion. And I love John Bellion. Um, I've actually been to two of his concerts now, two in the last year, and I met him twice because we got some meet and greet tickets, so that was really cool. Um, he's a really nice guy, if that matters. I so from that, John Bellion, um, I love him, he released his 
newest album and it was kind of like a f his first studio album. It was called The Human Condition and um, it was a great album and that's from there we went to his concerts. And then a tour with him was a, was a guy named Alec Benjamin. He sang the chorus on one of John Bellion's songs. Kind of similar to how I found John Bellion, I found Alec Benjamin. And we met him once because he was going through the crowd during John Bellion's concert and he was like, oh hey, I'm Alec Benjamin. And then he performed on stage and we we're like, oh, who is this guy? And I didn't know any of his songs at all. Um, and then he told us that he was, he was, you know, the chorus singer in um, New York Soul Part 2, John Bellion's song. And I was like, wow, this guy's awesome. And he doesn't have it, he has two songs on Spotify and then all of his other songs are on YouTube or SoundCloud. So I listen to him on SoundCloud now and I, um, if you don't know who he is, you should go check him out because I mean, he's an incredible artist and his voice is just beautiful and he writes his, his own songs and puts them together and oh my gosh, he's just incredible. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff. It's, he's awesome. This is just, I don't, I don't know what this video is. I think it's just kind of a list of the music I'm listening to if you guys care um, and how I got into it. Um, and then also from that, I listened to 21 Pilots. <laughs> um, and that was kind of the most recent. I've known about 21 Pilots as like a group for a long time. Kind of when um, Car Radio came out on the radio and um, House of Gold and... Um, tearing my heart and I was kind of like wow I like these songs but again that was kind of back in the time where I was like oh I didn't I don't realize that you can like <laughs> that you can like find them and then listen to more of their songs like I don't know why why didn't I just do that so now um, I'm incredibly obsessed with Tony One Pilots if anyone asks and I'm actually gonna go see them on my birthday on February 21st um, I'm going I'm going to Oklahoma um, from where I am now and I'm not gonna tell you where I am now because I don't know privacy I don't live in Oklahoma, so I'm going to Oklahoma to see them on my birthday, February 21st, and I'm just so excited for that. I'm going with um, Jelle, who you know, and my mom, and I'm really excited for that. So I think this past year or so, music has really made its um, its impression on me, and it's um, I think it's just a really interesting way to express yourself, and whether it's a band or one person or no I think that music is just really important to me personally and everyone has their own ways of expressing themselves but I think music is cool because it's kind of like you can say the words that you wouldn't normally say to someone and then you can like make a sound to it and that sound can express some sort of feeling that you have and I don't know I just think that that's like incredibly beautiful and humbling to people and I think that that's important to um, express yourself and I've learned that this past year or so. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know.